right, President Biden facing backlash as he turns to Venezuela for oil, easing sanctions on the communist country over human rights violations. A Wall Street Journal op-ed putting it this way, quote, the U.S. government thinks you're a fool, yep. and not only because it waited until Americans were en route to Grandma's house for Thanksgiving to let news slip of a deal to increase heavy crude output from joint ventures controlled by a dictatorship, or that it expects you to believe Venezuela is considering a return to free ex elections in exchange, which was part of the deal. And our next guest agrees. Fox News contributor and author of the great book, Defeating Big Government Socialism, Newt Gingrich, joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What do you think about this, turning now to Venezuela for oil? Well, look, I think that the just one more anti-American act by the Biden administration, uh, you know, Texas doesn't have a dictatorship problem. North Dakota doesn't have a dictatorship problem. Western Pennsylvania doesn't have a di dictatorship problem. Why is it that the place they select to buy more oil happens to have a dictatorship? And by the way, the idea that he's going to give up the dictatorship because Biden lets him pump oil is just silly. Uh, but watch them with Iran, watch them with Saudi Arabia. He's now forgiven the crown prince of Saudi Arabia for the killing of a journalist because he wants the oil. Uh, again and again, you see the Biden administration make decisions which hurt Americans. They've also been going around the world promising to give away billions of dollars to dictatorships in the name of climate change. But these are dictatorships that are corrupt and that we have no reason to believe American taxpayers owe them a penny. So there's a continuing process here of weakening America and finding a way to help dictators. So if you look at what uh, Maduro has done, he jails everybody, tortures people, uh, brutal attacks on demonstrators. This guy's a communist studying under Castro. Uh, he uh, wiped out all the free press, and he nationalized all these government entities, which brought the country to its knees. He's made alliances with Iran, Russia, and China, and basically is trying to infect all of Central and South America. And now we're basically saying, Newt, it is okay. Just like we're backing the Brazilian leader right. who was mentored by Castro. It is okay. We're giving away our whole hemisphere. Look, I mean, the, the Biden administration, I think, wants a weaker and weaker America and is willing to uh, facilitate and help dictators around the world. Uh, you'll notice that they have not intervened on behalf of the Iranian demonstrators, not a word. for example. Uh, you know, and, and that w their whole policy on natural gas and oil uh, verges on insane. Uh, we could be supplying Western Europe with a huge volume of American natural gas, which would bring us money, which would strengthen Western Europe, which would weaken Russia. We're not doing any of that. And the result is that Europe, Western Europeans this winter are going to face a very severe problem. Uh, and I think our, their relationship with us is going to weaken just because of the pain level. Yeah. You know, Newt, the way we got uh, them to the negotiating table was we said, OK, uh, the whole idea was we can restore help restore Chevron to start pumping oil down there in a larger way. But part of the negotiation was that billions of frozen uh, dollars for humanitarian aid would be released to Venezuela. With Maduro in charge, how much of that money is actually going to get to the people who need it? Well, this, this is a problem we've had in North Korea. It's a problem you have anywhere you have a dictatorship. Uh, the dictator makes sure, first of all, that his secret police and his military get the bulk of the money. His cronies, his friends get the bulk of the money. Some of it trickles down to the poor. But, but again, here's another example, just as with John Kerry and Iran during the Obama years, uh, where you've got a willingness to give away billions to a dictator who has not changed, yep. who is not in any way pro-democracy, uh, and who is totally unreliable. I, th I think these people think we're fools, and, they, and around the world there must be this dictator's club where they call each other and say, did you see what the dumb Americans <laughs> just did? Why don't you try something? I mean, really, uh, if, if, if I was a dictator somewhere around the world, I'd be trying to figure out how to get money out of the U.S. because Biden seems eager to shovel it out. Dictator yeah. club. Mm. We, uh, we, we recognize Juan Guaido. We told everybody to recognize Juan Guaido, and then we want to do this deal with Maduro. It's unbelievable. We are just a country without ethics all of a sudden. Newt, thank you very much for joining us. Today. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Uh, pick right. up his book for Christmas. It's Defeating Big Government Socialism.
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.